Hi guys, Brian the Squirrel I am back with another video and today we are going to be doing the small YouTuber tag. I found these questions online and they're all directed towards someone who's just started a YouTube channel and uh, trying to build it up. So yeah, let's go through a few of these questions. The first one is, what is your name and what is the name of your YouTube channel? Plain and simple, my name is Brian and my YouTube channel is Brian the Scary Lion. Literally said it at the beginning of the video, so yeah. What does the name of your YouTube channel mean? A few of these questions are going to be stuff that I've already answered, but I'm, I'm going to run through all of the questions. So basically the name of my YouTube channel is just a nickname that I was given uh, and it's just stuck with me for a long time. So yeah, I thought why not? And plus it was rated by Josh Zerka. So where are you from? Well, I'm from Blackburn, a place in Lancashire. I was born in Scotland, born in Glasgow, but Blackburn's my home. It's what I've known all my life. I've lived in Scotland, I think maybe five years in total, if that. Like, I've not spent much time in Scotland. Why did you start a channel? Basically, I've always wanted to do something like this. Being in front of the camera and being able to do you know, like acting or just chatting about stuff that I really enjoy. Yeah, I've, I've always wanted to do stuff like this. Like I stated in another video previously, uh, when I was younger, I wanted to be an actor and then I found YouTube and yeah, so that's why I started this channel because it's literally me, it's what I love. What is your channel about? Uh, there's not really an answer to this question. If you go through my videos, you'll see like most of the stuff that I post is actually random. It's just ideas that I come up with that I want to put out there. It, it, it's the way I like to run my channel because I'd, I'd like to have that diversity to be able to do whatever I want, what, whenever I want, and see what you guys like. If, if you guys like something, uh, I may revisit it. Like the Facebook posts and the Facebook pictures, stuff that I've seen that you guys kind of like, so I may revisit those. But yeah, it's mostly just random stuff. Who is your target audience? My target audience really is anyone who wants to watch. I put out my videos because I want to put my opinion across on things or I want to do something entertaining. I, I just want you to watch if you like that sort of stuff. I've, I've not really got a specific target audience. It's here for anyone who wants to enjoy it, basically. Some of my videos are targeted more towards like adult nature stuff, like drink, like I had the drinking video, uh, I've had videos where there's been like stuff that you just don't want kids to hear, but those videos I do put an age rating on, so yeah. What do you hope to achieve with your channel? Well, hopefully one day I hope to turn this into a full-time career, because uh, making videos is something that I love to do, and being able to say that that's my full-time job would be brilliant. Hopefully bring a few laughs as well. I I'm a big joker, I like to piss about and joke about. So yeah, uh, bringing a few laughs to people would be brilliant. But as far as it goes, uh, I'm, I, I feel like I'm already achieving what I want to do with my channel because I've, I've had the nerve to put myself out there and I've had the nerve to actually give this a shot when like even a few years ago, uh, I, I definitely wouldn't have done it because like my confidence and everything just wouldn't allow me to do it. So uh, in my opinion, I've already started achieving all of that. So whatever happens going forward from here, I'm already happy with it. What are your top three favorite YouTube channels? Uh, well, the first one, it's obviously Sidemen channel. I, I've said millions of times how big of a Sidemen fan I am. So yeah, that's my first favorite channel. Uh, second favorite channel is, it, it's got to be Will Any. Yeah, uh, the guy's just brilliant. He's funny as fuck. Third favourite channel, EXO. Uh, I know it's like new, well, relatively new. It's not long started up. But yeah, uh, it's four guys who are absolutely brilliant in front of the camera. Absolutely funny when they're together as a group. Been doing YouTube for a while. So yeah, EXO's definitely on there. Those are my three favourite. Uh, and I do honestly say go and check them out if you haven't checked them out before. Because they are brilliant. Who inspired you to start doing YouTube? There's actually so many that have uh, that inspired me to start doing it. The very first YouTuber that I ever watched was KSI. Uh, I was introduced into it from a, by a friend from college, and yeah, from there I, I just kept watching and watching and watching all these different people, uh, PewDiePie, uh, KSI obviously, the Sidemen. Uh, Joe Sugg, Joe Weller, all of these people, I just kept watching them and watching them and 
seeing them doing this sort of stuff and absolutely love doing it, it, it did inspire me to go, well, maybe I should follow my dreams, maybe I should go for what I actually want to do. But yeah, the biggest ones have got to be the Sidemen. If you could collab with anyone right now, who would it be? Now, I know most of you will probably be thinking that the answer to this question will be the Sidemen. No. If I could collab with anyone right now, I'd love to do a collab with XO. Doing a podcast with us for it would be absolutely brilliant. Um, if you've watched any of the podcasts, they, they go over topics that are like proper intellectual topics, but they discuss them in such an average person's way. So it, it, it feels more relatable. And plus, uh, a lot of the stuff you, you can just chat shit. It's literally just sitting down and talking. It's sitting down and talking with four of the best people on YouTube, in my opinion. So yeah, I, I would absolutely love to do that. Three reasons why people should sub. Literally, uh, the three reasons I would like you to sub. Uh, you actually enjoy my content. You want to see more of what's coming. And... To be honest, I don't have a third one. I've just, I've just studied here trying to rack my brain thinking of a third one. I'd, I'd, I'd like you to sub, literally, if you like my content and if you want to see more of what I've got coming. Because if you're going to sub to me and not watch my videos, like, and you're not actually interested in my videos, then it's not really what I need. I, I, I like, I, I want people to sub and talk and, like, have that criticism. I want people to actually criticise like, tell me what you think is wrong with the videos and I'll try my best to improve it. Because uh, that's what it's all about. It's about improvement, keeping on going, pushing and pushing and pushing until you reach that point in your channel where you'd like it to be. Which channel is more similar to yours? Uh, that's a tough question. I, I, I can't really say that, uh, that one channel is similar to mine because the sort of stuff I do, it's... The stuff that inspired me to do this sort of stuff all comes from different places, different YouTubers, things like that. I'm not saying like I, I steal ideas, but it's hard to kind of like come up with your own stuff. So some of the stuff that I put out is like my own twist on certain things. Yeah, it's hard to say like if I'm similar to anyone. If you guys can think of anyone that, uh, any other YouTuber that I'm actually similar to, uh, put it down in the comments because I, I would kind of like to know. It's, it's a bit of an odd question, that one. What is the best thing about the YouTube community? For the most part, I believe the YouTube community is so supportive of one another. Uh, they actually do want to help out one another. If you can go out and find someone who's similar to you, brilliant. Uh, a lot of the time, the two people who are so similar do want to do a collab with each other. There are pages on Facebook and on Twitter and all that that are dedicated to having groups of small YouTubers together so that they can actually discuss with one another how it's going going forward, help each other out with tips and ideas. And it, it, it is brilliant. Like this, this is the one area where I feel like people are actually so close. So yeah, that's, that is the best thing about this YouTube community. What is the worst thing about the YouTube community? I'm, I'm just gonna say it right now, it's sub for sub. Yeah, sub for sub is absolutely ridiculous and if you're gonna come onto my channel and put sub for sub, you're just gonna get ignored, uh, honestly, because there is no point in it. It doesn't help grow at all. Like, the only thing you get is, ooh, there's another subscriber, well done. Yeah, no, that's not what you wanna see. You wanna see people who are actually genuinely interested in your stuff what do you bring to youtube that isn't there already uh well i feel it's it's my personality like there's not much you can do with videos like if you can come up with something that's 100 percent original and never been done before brilliant but uh with the amount of content that's out there it is really hard to do that when you're starting up your own youtube channel bringing something original is kind of hard but if you're doing something that's maybe already been done and putting your own twist on it, putting your own personality into it, putting your own thoughts out there, then that's the best thing you could ask for because people will relate to you, I feel, uh, like you as a person. I don't know, maybe one person could hate a Try Not To Laugh challenge done by another like big YouTuber, but come over to your video and actually like it because it's your personality that's making it more enjoyable. 
Uh, that's not me firing shots. Don't take it that way. But yeah, what I'm saying is your, your personality is what makes your channel. What was the first YouTube video you ever watched? Well, before I started watching YouTubers, it was all music related stuff. Uh, but the first ever YouTuber video that I actually watched was... I think it was Akin Fenwar is a Beast. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. If you know the Sidemen and that, you'll know that uh, that's a KSI video. The old KSI, as a lot of people like to refer to it as. That's when I f actually fell in love with YouTube. Just seeing that th this guy, he, he, he was just putting out a video that was just funny as fuck. It, it was just a little comedy piece and people were loving it. What is the hardest thing about becoming a YouTuber? I'd have to say it's the time management, like being able to balance your personal life and your YouTube life. Because you could record a video, say you're recording a video for like uh, an hour or so. Uh, and then by the time you're done editing, you've got it down to 10 minutes. Uh, and then you've got to do your, putting your music onto it, putting your intro and your outro onto it. Inserting anything else that needs to go on. Uh, making your thumbnail and all that. So this 10 minute video could take hours and hours and hours, sometimes even days to do. So it cuts off a lot of your personal time. You wanna try to find a good balance between them both because you can drive yourself crazy from uh, just focusing completely on doing the YouTube. What's the most rewarding thing about being a YouTuber? Well, for me personally, it's got to be the fact that I'm putting my opinions and everything out there and people people seem to be taking a bit of an interest. I love to chat, I love to talk, uh, even if it's complete bullshit and complete bollocks, I just, I just love to talk and being able to put that out there uh, for whoever wants to see it, it's just an amazing feeling. It's the biggest reward that you can get from YouTube is that sense of accomplishment or just that feeling of pure joy. Do you see yourself being on YouTube for a long time? Well, yeah, I see myself being on YouTube for as long as I'm able to do it. The, the truth is, say uh, my audience doesn't grow, say like uh, I stay, even like say I stayed at what I've got now, I would continue to do it just because I love doing it. I, I, I can't see myself ever stopping. There probably will come a time where it's like I have to stop, but yeah, I don't see myself ever stopping. It's not in my mind. The, the only thing that's in my mind is like, boom, what am I gonna do for my next video? Here's what I've got. Final thing, what advice do you give to those who are just starting up? My biggest piece of advice really is when you're making a video, make it something that you genuinely wanna make. Make it something that you generally have an interest in. Something that genuinely like piques your interest, something you're passionate about. Because if you love it, what you're doing, people will see that and they will take an interest. Stay true to yourself, do what you genuinely like doing. But yeah, that was the small YouTuber tag. I hope you did like this video. If you did like it, give it a like. Like I said, comment down below who you think I'm most similar to on YouTube because I don't really know. Also comment like if you have any questions when it comes to like starting up your own YouTube channel. I'm not an expert, but I'll try to help where I can. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you can always stay up to date on the content. And yeah, I always catch you guys in the next one.